DC Nation, what is up? We're back with another video on the Batman, the 2004 animated series. Today I'm checking out Season 2, Episode 9, titled Ragdolls to Riches. Now, before we get into this latest episode, I need to clarify something real quickly. This video is on YouTube, so you guys only get two to three minutes of reaction and review at the end. But if you want to see my full episode reaction, click the link down below in the description or the pinned comments, and it'll take you to my website, DCEnthusiast.com, and there you can watch my full episode reaction. But yeah, guys, without the way, let's get into this new episode of The Batman. Catwoman's back. Okay. We haven't seen her since the season two premiere. Who is this? Did someone say cute and cuddly? Hmm. I recognize that voice. The ragdoll. Okay, ragdolls in the house. Good night, Alfred. Mm-mm. I think Alfred did no knows. Mm, if only she knew the real Bruce Wayne. Oh Heck yeah! Dude, this is amazing! That was so cool! Just seen them both suit up and prepare, and now they're both going after Ragdoll. Heck yeah. Yeah. Ragdoll the riches. Speaking of, three of us, two of these. I guess we'll split them one way. Mmm, <laughs> one way. Come on, Johnny Bravo. Let's take down the bat and the cats. <laughs> Skinny Johnny Bravo. He was blind, I think he was, the ragdoll, so, stretchy, skinny Johnny Bravo, that's why I call him, oh, ah, she got it. Selena left here in such a mood. Yeah. It was? To whom? Oh, I see. Yep, thank you very much. Well? Well, Selena donated the check after all, to hmm. the Gotham Pet Shelter Network. Uh, the Gotham Pets. Doesn't seem to care much for dog art. Mmm, she cares for cats. Fascinating creature. Yeah, she is fascinating. There is. She's the Catwoman, dude. The exploration of Bruce and Selena's dynamic in this episode. Wow. Good episode. Like, really good episode, guys. I really enjoyed this one. Just how it had Bruce and Selena finally interact, and then Ragdoll, Johnny Bravo, Jeff Bennett. So amazing, man. Like, it was just a really fun episode. But yeah, guys, getting to the review parts of this video, I'm first going to talk about Ragdoll. I looked it up, and he is voiced by... Jeff Bennett, aka Johnny Bravo. Yeah, Jeff Bennett voices Peter Merkel, aka Ragdoll, in this episode. And first off, okay, Ragdoll is a cool character. He can contort his body, go through like gears. Like the end of the sequence, that whole fight between Batman, Catwoman, and Ragdoll showed Ragdoll's just ability. He's a very interesting character. He has a cool design. He's so wacky. He has a different vibe and so to the show a little bit. I really like his character. He's very unique and just to top it all off he's voiced by Johnny Bravo so just when he speaks he sounds so confident and wacky and cartoonish and I love it. Like Ragdoll was the perfect character to be added into this episode. A great villain and a great middle character for Batman and Catwoman. Now other than Ragdoll let's talk about Bruce and Selina. They finally met in the this episode. Yeah, we've had Batman and Catwoman interact for a while ever since episode 4 of last season. They've actually interacted over the course of like a couple episodes now. That's nothing new, but Bruce and Selena, Selena trying to steal something from Bruce. 
and Bruce figuring out that, okay, Selena Kyle is a very fascinating creature. There's more to her that meets the eye, than meets the eye. And I found that very cool, how it was written, and how Bruce didn't notice it, and just how, okay, when Ragdoll showed up to Wayne Manor, stole something, and then Bruce and Selena put a tracking device on him, and we saw that sequence. This is my favorite part in the entire episode. When Bruce suits up as Batman, Selena suits up as Catwoman, and they have, like, the same way of suiting up, and them cr going across the rooftops in the same way. Like, it was so cool, just the parallel. Else. Like, that was a genius move. Whoever came up with that, like, good job. It really elevated the episode. We yeah, had the build-up in this episode, just the chase between Batman, Catwoman, and Ragdoll, and how it all led to that final sequence. That that sequence went on, of the sequence where we see Ragdoll and Catwoman and Batman in, like, that gear settings, all the gears turning, and... Like, the two emeralds get past the Batman, Catwoman, and Ragdoll back and forth. That sequence went on for a while. Like, a good five to ten minutes. It was, like, almost half of the episode. Which is really cool. Like, I, I don't expect that. Like, most shows wouldn't really take that risk. Because you feel like, okay, maybe that sequence would get boring. Because it goes on too long. But, no. I was invested in the entire time. I was on my, I was on the edge. I was like, who's gonna get it? Like, just seeing Ragdoll get it, Catwoman get it, Batman get in the end, and him sell it as Bruce Wayne, and then give that, uh, basically the check to Selena, and her donates all that money to a pet shop. Like, it's just so good. The writing in the show is top-notch. The animation, good as ever, fits its own. They got top-notch voice actors. Come on, we got Jeff Bennett's Johnny Bravo in this episode. And, yeah, I'm going to give this episode a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend it. If you guys like the video, give a big thumbs up. New channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next The Batman reaction and review. And don't forget to tell me your thoughts thoughts on this episode down below. What do you think about Ragdoll, and what do you think about the Bruce and Selena relationship on this show? But yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video. Thanks for watching, and peace out.